Hello art students. Today I want to show you really quick on how to actually add in your background for your Kahindi Wiley project. Um, that way your design is coming through uh, where the green screen would be. So first thing we're going to do, we're going to open up our browser tab and go to photop.com. Okay, this is just a free Photoshop inspired program on the web. You don't have to pay for it. It's awesome. Okay, so you're going to go down here up to this open screen here. Go to open from computer. I will email you your images for you to use. And they should be saved or downloaded onto your computer. So I'm going to open up my example one here. Okay, um, so right here we have our image. Uh, if you want to open up your background now too, you can do that or you can wait till later. I'm just going to open up mine now so I have it ready to go. And here's a picture of my background design. Okay. And I'm going to open that up. So that should open up in a separate tab. Okay. So I have my first tab here is my image. Second tab is my drawing or my pattern. Okay. So we're going to come back over here, go to that third option down from the top. I'm sorry, fourth option down. You're going to go to object selection. Okay. So you start off over here on the left, come down to right here, click on that. But then you want to click and hold it and select the magic wand. So click and hold it. Select magic wand. Okay. So this is our magic wand tool. Now what you're going to do is you're going to click on any part of the green area and it should select pretty much everything okay so you can see um, it comes all the way down and around um, what you might need to do is hold shift down with your left hand and then keep clicking to where all of that area is solid right so it's just a solid outline and it didn't even pick up over here so I'm gonna click here so now you're gonna see it goes all the way around my body now and around the flower and comes down, okay? So that should, you might have to click a few times to select it all, um, but this next part here, uh, you can always uh, clean up afterwards. So what we can do here is we're gonna go to edit up at the top and then we're gonna click cut. So we're gonna get rid of all that green area. Okay, and I might need a second to load. Okay, cool. So you've seen now I should just have a blank screen behind me. There might be a few little areas of green that didn't really catch up with that magic selection tool, but we can always erase it. Grab our eraser tool um, down here. This is the eraser. And you can select the size up here at the top. I'm going to go to like 50. Or no, I'm going to go to like... 267 and then you can just click or click and drag to erase some of that background okay and actually what you, what you have to do is you have to select um, something else first before you do that um, so I'm gonna go like this and then I can select because I have to be off of that layer Grab that erase tool and I can go ahead and erase now to make it look all perfect. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my background and I'm going to grab that second tool, that rectangle select and click and drag. Just select your entire background like that. You can always adjust it too if you wanted to make some adjustments like the brightness, contrast, levels, the exposure, the vibrance, kind of all that stuff you would see on Instagram. You guys can address that here in that. But for sake of time, I'm just going to go ahead and not do that right now. So then you're going to click and drag that, or sorry, go ahead and hit edit, copy, Come back to that image, edit, paste. And then your background will load in. 
So now I have my background loaded in on top of my image. So what we're gonna do now is grab that move tool, make sure it's adjusted where it's nice and centered. Okay, so it covers everything. All right, so now you can see that you have the first layer and then you have your background down here. So what we wanna do is we wanna select the background, click and drag that up so it is on top of layer one. Okay, so you're just kind of flip-flopping that. And I can always, you can even click the eye, that just kind of deletes the, the layer, or hides it. it, doesn't delete it, but it just hides it. Okay, so now you can see I am superimposed on top of my design. Okay, and last thing we wanna do now, I'm gonna grab that erase tool again, make sure you're selected onto the background. Okay, and you can adjust the size again too if you want. I'm gonna leave it where it is. I'm going to zoom in. I'm gonna click file, or no, sorry. I'm gonna click zoom in up here at the view tab. And I'm gonna do it one more time. I'm gonna zoom in. So now I'm just gonna have some of my design overlap. My shirt, my leg, my shoulder area. So I'm just erasing away parts of my design to make it overlap, just like with Kahindi Wiley. And I'm gonna come over here a little bit. Maybe I bring this up. So I'm following the same pattern of my design. Okay, I'm just continuing that arc shape. Having it overlap in certain areas. And again, if you make a mistake or if you erase too much away, you can always hit Control Z to undo what you did, or you can also go to Edit, Undo, or Step Backward, Control Z, same thing. And I'm gonna add one more section here at the bottom, or delete one more section. Like that. So now it looks like I'm kind of interlaced with my background, right? There's certain sections that are showing, coming up over my shirt. That's cool. That's exactly what Kahindi Wiley does with his projects. We want to do that. Okay, so the same thing. Last thing, go to File, Export As. This is how you save your document, save your image. Export As JPEG. That's what you want to hit. You don't need to mess with any of this. Go ahead and click Save and you should see it download there at the bottom, okay, of your screen. Then you're gonna come to Google Classroom where I'll, I'll have this assignment posted where you can submit it. So you come here to the class page and it'll be under classwork and it'll be under like art projects or something like that. It'll say Candy Wiley and you'll upload it there, okay? So that is how we actually put that green screen technology to use to create a really cool design, really cool self-portrait for you to have, okay? So that's my finished product right there. Thanks for watching, hope this helps you guys out, and I'll see you in class. Bye-bye.